teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. As you may remember, in our previous lesson, we have discussed about foreign inquiries and quotations. Let me remind you some of the main points. We addressed issues related to foreign inquiries and quotations, and the following price terms are discussed. CFR, coast and freight, or named port of destination. CIF, coast, insurance, and freight, or named port of destination. FOB, free on board, or named port of shipment. FAS, free alongside ship, or named port of shipment, FCA, free carrier, or named place of delivery. Students, today's lesson will focus on the letter of credit. First, let us discuss the definition of international trade transaction. International trade is the exchange of capital goods and services across international borders. There will always be negotiations between importers and exporters before any agreements on the terms are reached. In international trade transactions, common terms of payments are letter of credit, advance payment, open account, payment on collection or bill of exchange, and consignment of sales. Students, let us discuss each of these common terms of payments briefly. The first is letter of credit. It is typically issued by the importer's bank, which is the issuing bank. And the advance payment or Cash in advance scheme, the buyer makes advance payment to the seller. This method places the finance burden entirely on the buyer. Once the buyer has made the cash payment, he or she has no assurance that the seller fulfills his obligation. In the open account scheme, the exporter may be requested to ship on open terms. This payment offers the least security to an exporter. Payment on collection basis is an agreement in which the seller forwards financial and commercial documents through the buyer's bank. Consignment sale is an agreement in trade which a seller or the consigner sends goods to a buyer or consignee without getting payment for the goods itself. The consignee or the buyer pays the amount only when the goods are sold. Students, now it is time to do an individual activity. You have two minutes. 
Get ready. Describe the common terms of payment in international trade transaction. Students, did you get the answer? Good. Let us do the activity together. The common terms of payment in international trade transaction are Letter of credit Advance payment or cash in advance Open account Payment on collection And consignment sales now let us discuss more about the letter of credit. Letters of credit are one of the most secure instruments available to international traders. A letter of credit is a commitment by a bank on behalf of the buyer that payment will be made to the beneficiary or exporter provided that the terms and conditions stated in the letter of credit have been met, consisting of the presentation of specified documents. It is a way of reducing the payment risks associated with the movement of goods. Letter of credit must specify the value of credit, the time limit for submitting documents, and mode of dispatch. Having defined the term, let us see the advantages and disadvantages of letter of credit. Some of the advantages of using letter of credit are quick payment, financing outside own balance sheet, governed by international rules, and expand export markets with safer payment terms. Did you understand the advantages of letter of credit? Good! Let us continue our discussion and see the disadvantages of letter of credit. The disadvantages of letter of credit include the following. Unless currency hedging strategies are utilized, the actual cost of the goods can increase due to vulnerability to currency fluctuations. Costs involved with issuing, negotiating and other fees, like amendments, can make letter of credit expensive. The goods shipped may not conform to the order unless the seller makes good the only recourse is through legal proceedings. Subject to political risk of the country where letter of credit originates. Subject to the financial strength and stability of the issuing bank. Students, let us proceed to our discussion on types of letter of credit. Letter of credit is broadly divided into six categories. These are irrevocable and revocable, confirmed and unconfirmed, transferable letter of credit, standby letter of credit, revolving letter of credit, back-to-back -back letter of credit. 
A revocable letter of credit can be changed or cancelled by the bank that issued it at any time without notice to the beneficiary. An irrevocable letter of credit cannot be changed or cancelled without the consent of beneficiary. Confirmed letter of credit is related to the receiver bank that agrees to guarantee payment even if the issuing bank fails to make it. Unconfirmed letter of credit carries the obligation of the issuing bank to honor all drawings provided that the terms and conditions of letter of credit have been compiled with. Transferable letter of credit is a type of letter of credit that can be passed from one beneficiary to the others. They are commonly used when intermediaries are involved in a transaction. A standby letter of credit is an assurance from a bank that buyer is able to pay a seller. A single revolving letter of credit can be used over several transactions between the same buyer and seller. Back-to-back -back letter of credit may be used when an intermediary is involved, but a transferable letter of credit is unsuitable. Students, now it is time to do an individual activity. List down different types of letter of credit. Students, did you identify types of letter of credit? Good. Let us do it together. Types of letter of credit include revocable and irrevocable, confirmed and unconfirmed, transferable letter of credit, standby letter of credit, revolving letter of credit, and back-to-back -back letter of credit. Students, still we have another important feature related to process of letter of credit. The following are the steps of preparing letter of credit. Sales contract is the formal contract agreement between the buyer and the seller specifying the terms of sales that both parties have agreed upon. Application and agreement is the other component. The bank's letter of credit application and agreement forms, when executed, constitute a payment and reimbursement contract between the issuing bank and its customer. Issuance of the letter of credit is another step. The issuing bank prepares letter of credit as specified in the application and forwards it by teletransmission or airmail to the advising bank. The advising bank has been asked to confirm letter of credit and agrees to do so. 
It will incorporate a close undertaking to honor the beneficiary's drafts, provided the documents evidence that all terms and conditions of letter of credit have been compiled with. Goods carrier is another component. Seller ships the goods, then assembles the documents in the letter of credit, that is, invoice, transport document, etc. Seller presents shipping documents to advising confirming bank or other nominating banks. Honor or negotiate is the next step. Bank checks documents and pay seller according to terms of documentary credit. Dispatch of document is another component. Documents are forwarded to issuing bank. Payment is the next step. On maturity of the accepted draft, the accepting bank will pay the beneficiary or discounting bank and claim reimbursement from issuing bank who will charge the applicant's account and will remit the proceeds. Payment is another step. Buyer is debited by issuing bank in pre-agreed manner. Then the issuing bank debts the buyer and release the documents, including transport document, so the buyer can claim the goods from the carrier. Clearance of goods is the final step. Buyer uses documents to receive delivery of goods. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Discuss why the letter of credit is important. What are its major steps? Students, did you, did you get, get the answer? answer? Good. Good. Let, Let us work, work the activity, activity together. together. The, the steps, steps of preparing letter of credit, credit are sales contract, application and agreement, issuance of the letter of credit, advising, good carrier, presentation, 
honor or negotiate, dispatch of documents, payment, payment, endorsement, and clearance of goods. Let us wind up today's lesson by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about the concept of international trade transaction and letter of credit. International trade is the exchange of capital goods and services across international borders. Letter of credit is a bank undertaking of payment separate from sales or other contracts on which it is based. It is a way of reducing the payment risks associated with the movements of goods. In our next session, we will discuss about foreign terms of payments, payment on collection. With that, we come to the end of today's lesson. Until, Until next time, time thank, thank you, you teacher. teacher, thank, thank you, you students, students. goodbye. goodbye.